You know, there are some beautiful songs we sing on Purim. But as the day goes on and people drink and drink some more, and not just lemonade, sometimes the lyrics, what the lyrics are of the song become a bit blurred. And what those lyrics might possibly mean can sometimes be very confusing. So one of my favourite songs is actually very, very enigmatic, even when you're sober. Shoshan is Yaakov, The Roads of Jacob, Sahala Vesamecha, Glad, Joyous, Birosim Yachad, when they saw together Techeles Mordechai, the blue colour in Mordechai's tzitzis. Now, that's a very, very difficult song to understand. Shoshan is Yaakov is the Jewish people. Why are they being compared to a rose of all things? And why are they glad and happy, Tzahalava Samecha, when they see Tcheles Mordechai? What's the big simcha in seeing Mordechai Sitzis? What, they thought he didn't wear Sitzis? The Avnei Nezer, who was Rabbi Ron Bornstein, one of the 19th century commentators, gives the most beautiful explanation to this, which I'd like to share with you. You know, Klal Yisrael had been on quite a journey in the Purim story. It started off because they went to the Suda, the meal of Achashverish, which they should not have done and enjoyed it in a way that they should not have enjoyed it. And as a result of that, says the Gemara, that's why Haman's decree was able to pass through. But Klal Yisrael got on the straight and narrow. They did teshuva. They fasted. They prayed. And eventually they had the most wonderful miracle of their own physical survival. And at the sages, they received upon themselves anew with Ava, with love, the yoke of Torah. But... Rashi tells us a Shoshana, a rose, is the softest of flowers. It's very likely to sway in the wind and move. And they were worried that just like a rose, they too, with the passage of time, the miracles would be forgotten, the salvation would be a distant memory. And like a rose swaying in the wind, they might go back to their pre previous mistakes. But what, wondered Israel, could help them going forward? What could give them knowledge, strength and power that they were going ahead with confidence rather than back to previous mistakes. Well, you know, if they have a really strong leader, a steadfast leader, a leader who's got the quality that he won't move, he won't be flexible, he won't be bendable in the face of challenge, maybe that would help them. Mordechai, their leader, was from the tribe of Binyamin, who was a descendant of Rachel. Now, Rachel's descendants, principally her son Yosef, had this quality as we find with the constant persuasions of Aishas Potiphar in Sefer Bereshis, Yosef was able to stand day in, day out, strong, steadfast, unmoving. The Jewish people saw that their leader Mordechai came from the sons of the tribe descended from Rachel with this quality that however hard the struggles are, he'll always remain consistent and strong. The Gemara Menachas tells us, now, how does a person know that he's got that authentic, tcheles, blue colour in his sitzes? Of course, we don't necessarily have that colour anymore, but certainly historically, how would a person know that his sitzes had the authentic tcheles in, rather than some kind of cheap counterfeit? So the Gemara tells us, well, there's a way of checking. If, your, if that colour, that bluey-green colour, starts to fade and change, you know for sure that you've not got tcheles. You go back to the shop and you ask for a refund. But if the tcheles remains the same colour, it doesn't fade and doesn't change, you know that's authentic tcheles. That means tcheles, the colour, is synonymous with this quality which the offspring of Rachel had of remaining steadfast in the face of challenge, not swaying like a rose in the wind. So when the Jewish people saw they had a leader who came from that ancestry, where well, that was symbolised, where they looked at his tzitzis. Of course he was wearing a tzitzis. He was the Gadlador, he was the greatest man of the generation. There's a deeper symbolism lying in the Techeles is the fact that this is a man who won't change. And if they can hang on to that, and we in our days can hang on to the great leadership of our Torah giants, that gives us hope going forward that will remain positive and won't go back to previous mistakes. Have a wonderful, happy Purim.